Okay, in this problem, we have a cylinder that is uh, that is shown here, and it rolls without slipping. It has an angular velocity omega of 15 radians per second. This uh, cylinder just happens to be on a conveyor belt for whatever reason, and this conveyor belt is moving at a velocity of 2 feet per second. So we're asked to figure out what the velocity of A over here is. And we're also defining B is this point here that's at the ground, and O is the middle of the cylinder. And the radius of the cylinder is going to be uh, 0.5 feet, 0.5 f, 0.5 feet. Uh, and we're asked to figure out what the velocity of A is. And because we're looking for the velocity of A right here, uh, we can figure out the velocity of A by the following equation. Uh, the velocity of A is equal to the velocity of B plus um, the angular velocity crossed with the position vector from A with respect to B. Okay, so we're going to draw a kinematic diagram. That's sort of our first step when we don't really know where to go. And we're going to put in all the vectors and stuff that we're interested in. So at point, at point A right here, uh, A is going to be right here. It's going to have some velocity, but we're not sure what it is. So let's just say it's going to have some velocity up in the uh, the j direction, so the velocity of a y is going to have a j component, and it's going to have a velocity here, a velocity a x, which is in the i direction. All right. We also know that this velocity b, at this point right here, because it's in contact with the surface, which is moving at two feet per second, it it it's going to have a velocity at this point of uh, two feet per second. So two feet per second, it's moving in the positive, uh, positive x direction, so it's going to be two, two i. So we can also start sort of a running list of all these variables right here. We know the velocity of a is going to be equal to uh, a j component, or uh, let's do the x component first, just to sort of keep it consistent. So some x component plus uh, some j component. We know the velocity of b is going to be equal to this 2i. And we have an angular velocity. Well, we've given the angular velocity is uh, rotating this way. And to the right-hand rule, because it's rotating uh, clockwise, this means it's going to be a, a minus, two, uh, minus 2k. Or, I don't know where I got 2 from. It's going to be a minus 15, minus 15 k, and we have to just figure out what this this position vector of the position vector of a with respect to b is. And because it's a with respect to b, it means we start at point b, which is right here, and we go to point a, and we get we get this vector, or yeah, this vector right here. Now, in order to go this way we have to go up some distance and to the left some distance. So this, this variable, this position vector of A with respect to B is going to, uh, we're going to go up, up 0.5J and we're going to go to the left so minus 0.5I. And I get this because we're going up the radius of the circle and we're going from the, so going from point B up 0.5 gets us to point O right here. And now we're in the middle of a circle and we just have to go over our one radius to the left. Okay, so now we have all this information and we can just substitute each of these variables back into this equation and solve for whatever we're looking for, which will be the velocity of A. So, uh, if we substitute VA in, we get VA X with an I component plus VA Y with a J component is equal to this 2I plus a minus, uh, so we can just, we can just make this a minus uh, 15K cross 0.5 j minus 0.5 i and let's do this 
this cross product right here. So when we do this cross product, we're going to have, let's look at this little circle, i, j, k. If we're moving this way on our circle, we're going to call it positive. If we're moving this way, it's going to be a negative. So this circle says if it's i cross k, we're going to have a minus j. If we're at a i cross j, we're going to have a positive k. And we can figure out what k cross i and k cross j. So right here we have a, a minus 15k cross a 0.5j. And we can bring our scalars out in front. So we have a minus 15 times a 0.5 with a k cross j. And this becomes a, a 7.5i. So 15 times 0.5 is minus 7.5, and this becomes k cross j is a minus i. So this minus sign can come out, uh, come out combined with this minus sign, so we get a positive, uh, a positive 7.5i. Now with this second part of the equation. Uh, we're going to have a, a minus 15k uh, cross 0.5, uh, cross a minus 0.5i. Again, this, these two minus signs will combine, so we're going to get 7.5 of a k cross i. Uh, k cross i is a j, so we're just going to have 7.5j. So now, let's uh, just clean this up a bit, move it down. Uh, rewrite the equation, this velocity of a in the i direction plus the velocity of a in the y di uh, the j direction is equal to 2i uh, plus 7.5i uh, plus 7.5 j. Okay, and now we can just combine our i and our j components. So when we look at our i components, on this side of the equal sign we have a v a for the velocity a in the x direction is equal to 2 plus 7.5. So this is going to equal 9.5. And a velocity a in the y direction, which is going to equal uh, 7.5. Uh, we're with feet, so our units are going to be uh, feet per second. This is going to be uh, feet per second, and this is the j direction. So what's this saying? Is This is saying that our velocity in the x, x direction, uh, if, I, if I draw, uh, I can do it right here, is going to be 9.5 meters per second this way. In this direction, it's going to be uh, 7.5 meters per second. So what's our magnitude? Our magnitude is going to be somewhere, somewhere like this. In our magnitude, our velocity of a is going to be the square root of 9.5 squared plus 7.5 squared. And if we perform this calculation, we get 12.1 uh, feet per second. And now another thing we can do, we can figure out this angle from the horizontal. So how I like to do this, I like to draw my I component first. Uh, so I start here and I draw my I component. And then I go and I draw from the end of my I component, my J component. And with my j component, it's going to be a positive 7.5. If I can get this to go straight up. And that was poor space management. But this becomes the theta we are looking at. And this is, of course, 9.5. This is 7.5. So this angle, this angle right here, theta, is the inverse tangent of this 7.5 
over 9.5. And this theta is equal to uh, 30, 38.3 degrees. And so how, how do we measure this from? We measure it up from the horizontal. So it's going to be measured this way. And so this turns out to be your answer. The velocity of A is 12.1 feet per second. And this angle it is at is at 38.3 degrees. So this right here is going to be our, our theta, which is 38.3 degrees.